Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today, exceptionally, without a camera. I couldn't just, you know, I just wasn't bothered to set it up. That's all. <laughs> There's no real good reason for not having a camera today. Just makes it easier to set up. But anyway, we're going to have a look at the start of the new season here with Hereford FC. And I'm going to start with showing you this player, so Ryan uh, Darglish. You might remember him from seasons past in Hereford. We got him for free. Uh, we used him for about a season and then halfway through, well, yeah, a whole season because halfway through the season, Blackburn bought him, but uh, then loaned him back to us to finish the season off. Um, we still had a 50% um, of the next transfer fee clause for him. So we decided to sell him. That came available for sale. So we decided to sell it. We got about £670,000 from that and adding that money with the money that we received from the clause from Kieran Tabbott. If you remember Kieran Tabbott, we had a £1 million clause pending for him, so we decided to sell that too. And uh, Just because our finances were dipping into the red at the end of the last season, so I thought I'd give ourselves, ourselves a, a, a buffer for this season. So yeah, we are in good financial shape. Uh, with some of that money, the look, I mean, the board wouldn't allow us to do anything else. I asked twice to become professional, asked for any training facilities, other things, and they wouldn't do anything else with the money. So I just went on um, investing in our youth. So we are at, th at the moment improving our youth facilities. Hopefully that will complete soon. And hopefully also that will mean that next year we will jump up a league in the youth because uh, tied in with that promise is also a promise to increase our youth level. Uh, our youth team has been champions um, twice in a row now and they are second place at the moment in the league. So they've won the title two years in a row now last year and the year before that. So hopefully we can advance and play in the league above um, and they would be playing in this section here so against these teams that you see here which would be awesome actually if they could play in the league above now aside from finances obviously we need to have a look at our new squad we had some issues um, at the end of last year a lot of our players were unhappy uh, the most extreme example was Will Huffer so players were unhappy because they said they weren't having enough playing time which I think is an unfair thing to say and the biggest example here is Will Huffer. He had 37 appearances, first team appearances with us last season. So it was unfair of him to say that he didn't have enough playing time, I think. Especially because he wasn't like a star player or anything like that. He was just a, a regular uh, first choice goalkeeper. But anyway, he decided to leave, wish him all the best. A lot of players decided to leave, wish them all the best. Now... And that means we had to bring in a lot of new players. Starting at goalkeeper, uh, the replacement for Will Huffer is Harrison Folks. Uh, he's going to be probably the second keeper. Um, and he came from Rotherham, Derby, Hull, that sort of history before him. On the right of the fence, we have two new players. Ashton Hall, 26-year-old from Gloucester, Kings Lynn, Matlock. So he's used to kind of this level, has never really played in, le in levels above. The other player for that position is Josh Hoosey, 25-year-old from Cardiff Met, Everton before that. Um, on the left side of the fence, we have Sean Williams as a new player. We still have, um, well, actually, I'll tell you about the other player in a bit. But yeah, uh, Sean Williams from Telford uh, is with us. Now the other player in left of the fence is Levan Zordania. He's a Georgian player. He was with us in last year and the year before, I think. But as a le as a right fullback, and this year he made the switch to the left side of the fence. He can play all across the fence anyway, so yeah, he's going to be a useful player like that. It's just the only shame is that he's unambitious, but you know, hopefully we can fix that. He's still young. Defensive midfield, we, have, we still have Alex Sulemana, uh, but our new player for that position is Jonathan Page. Quite a good player uh, for this level anyway. And he's come from Fulham, 
originally uh, went through Dover, uh, MK Dons and Eastleigh. At midfield we have Johnny Brown for the third time in a row on loan with us. Um, great player, hopefully we can uh, use him a lot this season. And the other player for that position is Adam O'Reilly as a backup. And he's an Irish player with some history in the English football as well. The right side of attack, we decided to sell um, Bradley, Stephen Bradley. And we still have Dylan McLeod. But we got this um, Scottish-Italian player, Chris Azontiani. I think he's Italian. Sounds Italian, but doesn't say he speaks Italian. Anyway, he has an Italian surname, but he came from Scotland. I think he's played all his life in Scotland. And is with us now on the left side of, it, of the attack. We still have Adam Beamish for the second time now with us on loan. From Stoke, I believe. Yeah. And... A new player for that position is um, Ryan Bowman, veteran Ryan Bowman, used to playing in the league above, um, but yeah, he's going to be a good backup for us, I think, in that position. In this um, attacking midfield position, we still have Owen Esquith, who wants to leave at the end of the season. Let's see if that let's see if that stays. And Mackenzie Hunt is the other player in that position, twenty-five-year-old from Everton. I've uh, been playing at Bolton and Torquay recently. In the tack, we still have our favourite striker, Sapo Song, only 22 years old. He might be 23 now. No, he's still 22. Uh, and we got a backup, um, Harvey Henderson, Scottish player, who's always played in Scotland. So those are our new players. I'm not convinced our squad is stronger than last year. And he's not younger than last year, for sure. Let's look at the general info. Yeah, we have a few young players, but I think last year we had more. We definitely have a few older players in proportion. Um, we're building up cohesion uh, so far, obviously, because we lost uh, quite a lot of players. We had to build that up again. Schedule-wise, uh, we have yet to lose this season, so hopefully we won't lose against Carlisle. Carlisle, speaking of which, was the last team we played in a video. Uh, we lost against them for the playoffs at the end of the season. So hopefully this time around we won't lose, but I guess we'll see. Here we go. So we're playing at home against Carlisle. We lost against them last season for the playoffs. They are the reason we are still in this league. They obviously didn't go through either. Uh, they must have lost in the semi-final against somebody else. First goal here. Esquith scores with a cross from a Sapo Song. I'm not sure if Antoniazzi actually touched the ball. Sapo Song takes the corner. Antoniazzi might have headed it. And Esquith puts it in. Okay. It looks like Antoniazzi did, didn't even touch it. He's not on the uh, assist. It's a good start against Carlisle, but it's still a long way to go, the game. So we'll see. They have a free kick here. Goes above the bar. And yeah, complete failure of defense, but it looks like it's offside, which is great news for us. Callum punches the ball. Campbell can't get the angle. Kami punches the ball again. Goes to champion, puts it in, but he was offside. Similar situation here, maybe? No, Kami okay, learned the lesson and caught the ball and secured it. Good, good, good to see. Bearing in mind, I'm not particularly happy with Kami as a goalkeeper. Um, I think he's a bit clumsy. Especially when it comes to... He doesn't really secure the ball that often. Um, so we are going to work on getting somebody else. I was quite sad when... Will Huffer left because I was hoping to keep him for years to come. He was still young as far as goalkeepers go. Nice heading here from Anton Yazzi, but looks like a sapo song was offside. Just marginally. Okay. Yeah, so Will Huffer would have been. We played with him 
in the previous version of FM, so FM 2021. Uh, we played with him for f quite a few seasons with Hereford, um, up the leagues. But this, see, this obviously this version of Will Huffer is a bit more demanding, wants to play all the time. And we couldn't quite do that. So we had to give Cammy some matches. Okay, I'm gonna carry on. No changes at halftime. We usually make changes at 70 minutes if no player misbehaves in the meantime. Oh, good. Defended on the line. Just waiting to see what the ratings are doing, and now I'm going to make some changes. We're definitely going to get you out, mister. I don't really know who for. Let's see. Hunt apparently is good. Okay, let's do that. Um, need to get this guy out. Again, let's make have a look. Page and finally, I'm actually might going to need this guy for that. And um, I guess that's all I can do. How does Bill compare? Okay, yeah, I might as well just leave him there. Okay, okay. I think that's it. It's a bit risky putting Bill in because Bill is actually a youth player. Um, Levan Zordania, whom I would usually use to put on the bench, he is out on international duty, so he ha he's not available. Because uh, otherwise, Zordania would be on the bench and we wouldn't be using the youth kid. But it's it's nice to give the youth kids sometimes some minutes every now and then. On rare occasions. Because remember, they have their own league to play in. The under-23s don't have their own league yet. They they will play in the Carabao Cup in many years from now. But um, yeah, they don't have their own league for now. I'm not sure when they get their own league. Maybe we just need to upgrade our youth level a bit more. Uh, so they just play friendlies every week. Against other under-23s teams. They have their own manager, the under-18s also have their own manager, and also their own assistant manager. One of the reasons I use under-23s teams is so I can use their coaching allowance, the, the number of coaches they have, to also train the senior squad with those coaches. So it gives me more coaches for the senior squad as well. And it also means that if I have any youth players or any young players in the senior squad that I feel like I might demote for a short period of time, I don't have to sell them. I can just leave them in the under 23s. Okay, Carlisle's going to go down to 10 men. We have a free kick, but obviously it wasn't all that important because they skipped it in the highlights. And that's the end of the game. We won this one. Against Carlisle, quite happy about that because Carlisle obviously prevented us from being promoted last season, or at least prevented us from going to the playoff semi final. Sorry, the playoffs final. We played against them for the semi final. Next up is um, Bellerica. I don't even know how to pronounce that team, but yeah. They're obviously, by the sea, they have a boat as their coat of arms. As their logo. See if I can keep going forward a few days and we'll include that game in this episode. With the team meetings, I rarely do any anything with it other than 
praising players and stuff like that. Sometimes resting players, I take that advice too. Sometimes individual training advice I take on as well. Um, coaching courses as well. That kind of thing. Okay, so 11, 11th of September, we're going to play against our next opponent. Just trying to get through these news items. Lots of stuff to skip through. And with the training as well, at all levels, I always try and praise the highest rated, criticize the lowest rated. Um, just to have that level of interaction as well with the players. Okay, let's go ahead to the next match. I see the youth team winning again. Right, so we should have all of our players available for this one. Uh, I don't think I need to do many changes, but I will put um, Zoradania back on the bench, as is his custom, being on a bench. Um, he can stay. Johnny Brown can stay. You can also stay. Okay, looks good all around. Okay, no changes in the starting squad, but we are going to put Zordania back in. And that way Bill Thompson can go back to his youth level. After Zordania, we need Paige to give us defensive midfield substitution. Glade's going to give us all throughout attack, plus the striker for Bowman. And then, basically this player just gives us, you know, three more different positions. I just like to have um, versatile players on the bench so we can make, we have lots of options for substitutions and stuff. Less versatile, versatile players tend to be excluded of the bench just because they can't do that much and they're taking up a whole place on the bench. We have a small bench for these lower level leagues, only five players on the bench, which makes it harder. As we go up the leagues, we'll have the full seven, and that makes it a bit easier to include more players, including maybe a goalkeeper, maybe. Haven't used a goalkeeper at all um, this year. Um, this year of FM, so FM 2022. So they've had two corners already. Um, and they're still going. Cami risking it there by coming out, but secured the ball. Looks like they're definitely on the attack for this one. Cross over the area. Nothing comes of it. Gower is completely isolated. Oh no, there's a guy up there. Cole picks it up. Still going. Shot into the atmosphere. Okie dokie. They're having lots of free kicks and stuff. Maybe they're more attacking, more aggressive than we are, because we are positive, but they might be a bit more aggressive. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, there's no need for that. Slow down. Not sure why you did that. There's no need for that. No, slow down, slow down. No need for that. Okay, and now, ah. Well, at least we get a corner. Ok, 
camera's gonna pick it up. Oh, it's the... Oh, man. That was offside. Unfortunate, but that's okay. Esquith, the brown. Sapo Song turns it over. Antoniazzi. Um, come on, careful now. Yeah, keep with the passing. Good passing. From Long. Wow, that was... I wasn't expecting that. Nobody was, I don't think. Sapo Song. Just decides to take a punt at it. There we go. The goalkeeper wasn't ready for that. Twenty eight minutes passed. Another highlight. Ooh, careful there, but managed to get it clean. Okay, they're prowling. From far, wasn't able to get in. That's good. And they're obviously getting a little bit tired now, the other team, because they've been attacking for so long. They're probably getting a little bit tired. It's a shame that we can't see the fitness levels of the other team. Because in real life, you, you would be able to look at them and sort of see. Um, but anyway. Antonio has it coming off. He's not having a great game. So we're going to give McLeod a go. Esquire is getting very tired, so I might get him out soon. He might be recovering from a knock, though, so I'm not going to jump to it. Williams is giving out to Zordania. Just in time for the throw in. Cammy's all the way out here. Careful now. <laughs> I know about a sweeper keeper, but come on, don't exaggerate it. Oh, 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 that's going to be a goal. Well done. First goal of the season for McLeod. So Beamish crosses to Brown, who's shot. And then McClay just picks up the leftovers from the Kiefer. Nice. Bounced off the uh, top bar. Okay, let's have a look. Um... Maybe you can still, I don't know. Oh, decisions. Who would I put for Brown, though? It says that Hunt can play in that position. Let's try that. I know it's risking it with Hasquith, but we can give him a rest next match. Here's Hunt. Not a great pass, I must say. They have a real opportunity here and they score. That was a good good play by them, I don't lie. All of that from Hunt off his poor pass. They've got another chance here. They could draw straight to Kami's hands. Zordania on the left. There was no need for that. I don't know why they keep doing that, because I have short pass set up. I'm sure of that. Actually, let's check it now, because they've been doing that for a while. So, checking the tactics. We are playing with... Playing fr through the fence with a short pass. They do, we do have high tempo, though, so that might be why they sometimes make poor 
decisions. Um, and the Lapian left. Yeah, so the tempo might might be the thing that's making them do those long passes. Nice. Uh, my heart was in my hands at that moment. Nope. Don't, no penalties. Thank you. Thank you. The assistant's telling them to calm down. And I agree. Nice goal. That was a fantastic goal, I must say. But it is offside. But it's a nice goal nonetheless. Even though he comes back to, sh to shoot, so... Oh god, that was <laughs> that was another close one. Yeah, we might have to tweak our tempo a little bit. Because we are doing lots of long passes when there's no need for that. Oh, okay, that's definitely gone in and it's proper. That's definitely proper. That was good as well. So, just a simple cross into the box. Near post. Nothing we can do about that. Right, so this is a draw. I might tweak the tempo for the next few matches. Uh, but meantime, just one last thing before I close the episode. Let's just have a look at our comparison. Because we haven't have, have a look at that for ages actually now. We used to have a look at it every season. So you can see we're missing a little bit in the crossing and dribbling um, side of things. We've got a few aspects of mentality that are quite good. Uh, actually, technical, let's look at passing. Passing is alright. Physicality is going to be poor. Yeah, I knew that. That's usually what it's like for us. Midfield. We're good at passing in the, midf in the midfield, though. Um, Okie dokie. Yeah, these are some of the things. Agility, aerial. Yeah. A bit older than we were last season overall. Well, and that is all for this episode. Thanks so much for sticking around the whole entire episode, if you've made it. Uh, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And uh, I've been putting some spoilers as well on Patreon. So if you don't mind a good spoiler, then head over to Patreon and you can check those out as well. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.